and welcome back to the channel. It is Mark from PowerSonic and Apprentice One to One. Today we are out on another set of 22 kilowatt three phase EV charge points. These are some new ones again on the channel, specified by the customer. So these are Podpoint um, T22 pillars. So this is going to be a new one again for us to look at. They're currently on a six to 12 week delay. So we're waiting on those arriving. But in the meantime, we're getting on with some of the groundwork outside through the Easter holidays. So I'm going to jump this forward in the release schedule um, and get this out as quick as I can. Um, we've also got the containment and the distribution board and all of the final circuits and such to get ready for the arrival of the charge points, which in truth are probably now going to be the summer holidays because this is a school site. I quickly spin you around. You can see the main intake we are faced with. Uh, the guys have got their gear laid out in here as well. So we've got all of this existing equipment here. I will show you outside as well so you can see what the metering cupboard looks like. Basically the, the meter cupboard is just through here and then the car park just beyond that. So we haven't got a great distance to run to the charge points themselves. This set of tails in the bottom here, these are our incoming tails to the system. They then drop up into this main switch and then we've got this buzz bar chamber across here that all of these other sub circuits feed off. So these are distribution circuits going off to the kitchen for example and the caretakers area. We've got whole art blocks and other bits and pieces, loads of distribution boards. Um, this is for a new ICT block supply. So we've got all these things going on. Um, the guys have got our Proteus board mounted up. If I step back a bit, you'll see we are kind of limited in space in here already. It's very full. We didn't want to put our equipment where it was going to obstruct something else. So we've just popped it off the wall under that light. Um, obviously that's stopping us from landing into the top. And equally, we didn't really have anywhere we could move the light to. So we're kind of working with what we've got a little bit. Um, we're going to pop some tray off the bottom of here, leading out where we're going to take our cable in through the wall just down there going off to the charge points and then we're going to tie into the existing trunking for our cables coming over to supply this board and we'll show you all that that as this video moves along we should be able to get that covered in this episode i will show you how i put this together in the office so later on in this video i'll run through how i came about putting this together you can buy these off the shelf just to quickly mention now for between sort of 700 and 1200 quid depending on the layout you get inside so some of them come with single pole type ARCDs for example some of them come with um, a mixture of your TPN and your single phases with the four pole RCDs in the top you can get all sorts of different variants but I bought these as separate components so we had the four-way TPN board and then this expansion box if you like so um, we can mount the RCDs or if you want to put some SPDs in here or your metering equipment you can get all that in all in one enclosure and I'll show you how I did that just to say again this isn't staying that was all I had on me when I put it together because I'd gone to work in my car I'm going to swap that for a little brass bolt in a little bit um, yeah that's kind of where we're at with that one um, just to say as well you can get these now in a five-way version with the SPD kit built in it lives down here so you can get that now from Proteus if you put in an SPD um, into your EV board in that way. We're going to drop one in along the top here But we'll show you that when we come to wire it all out in a little bit um, Again, there's plenty of room for us to work on that Anybody needs to get into this switch gear here. Lots of room for them to come and work on We're not obstructing anything We're going to drop a little bit of tray across and down there And then we're also going to drop some tray just down here as well where we can pick up with this existing trunking Which is actually pretty empty. There's not a lot in there, which is nice um, and yeah, that's that's kind of it. The, the wider plank room, spin you out this way, you can see it leads off into a much bigger area where you get your typical tanks and boilers and whatnot. So there's lots going on in here, but we've got our own little electrical cupboard. It's very clean and tidy. Um, we've got our tools in here now, obviously, but once we've finished, we'll leave it as we find. And uh, yeah, let's go and have a look outside and I'll show you what we're faced with out there. So we'll do a bit of director's view recording here. You can see just behind me, that's where the charge points are going to end up living. And just in front of me here, you can see the main intake. So this is the supplier's equipment coming in here. And then we go out in our tails. And what you saw through that wall was those cables entering sort of at floor level, leading in to the um, main switch within the plant room. And we've got this little bit of tray on the wall already. So we could perhaps utilize that to bring our cable in out and away so we can get if i hold that in the right place i keep forgetting i'm in shot as well so we can um, come across here with a little soft dig you can see down there and then we've got a few of these pavers to 
work around. Um, we'll probably just have to lift a few here and dig a nice deep trench and then we're across onto this building where we can put a bit of tray underneath behind that little crash barrier which is handily positioned and then we can come out ready to have the cabling in place for some charge points that are going to live in the middle of these bays here so we're going to have four bays for EV vehicles and two dual charge points from pod points so the T22s um, range that they've got and we'll show you them on another video because as I said they're not going to be here in time for this one and uh, yeah that's kind of our route so we need to make sure we get to a good depth that all this is done correctly we're going to get on with that next week so you won't really see that on this video i don't think i may do another one explaining how we approach buried services in the ground and also how we dig a depth for our cabling and how we backfill and cover over those as well like i say it's only a short little route it's not a big one we've already got this exposed earth here so we're lucky with that and there's just a little corner of pavers to sort out to move across there uh, and then we can pop some tray along that wall over there and away we go should be pretty straightforward so um let's get on with it i'll show the guys we're going to be mainly tackling the plant room today get all of the containment up in place get the cables up into that board and we'll show you how all of that comes together in just a little bit as mentioned earlier on in this video you can buy this as a pre-assembled product direct from proteus where you get your it's called an ev type board i guess and it basically has a tpn spine board and then an expansion enclosure on the top where you can position your mcbs and your rcds they usually come in certain configurations in the way i've seen them we didn't quite need anything as it came off the shelf and i looked into making these up on my own and the price difference was pretty reasonable so you can save yourself a bit of money in doing this you'll see i've got the 14 module bxm 14 and we have got the four-way TPN spine board, which is a BX4S125. Need to make sure you get them the same width, obviously. I'll show you these going together. And you may have already seen them been installed out on site, depending on how I clip this video together. But I'll get on with it now, show you what all opened up, and how you fasten these up and get it set up for if you are going to use these for an EV application. Okay, so that's it bolted together. You'll see essentially... We come in the bottom to this main switch, we're going up the spine board through our C40 MCBs and then we're going to wire out into these four pole RCDs type A and then off to our charge points out on site. You'll see I've reused the bolts that came with the um, flan plates, they've gone straight through. I have actually used the threads that was in the case for a bit of extra security. This is just temporary because the brass bolts are in my van and I'm at work in the car today. So I'm going to swap that out for a brass bolt, not necessarily needed because we've got the earth bar in the top of this enclosure. We've got the earth bar bolted onto the sides down here and obviously we can drop a link between those two. But just for an extra bit of um, why notness, we'll stick a little earth fly lead onto there as well. You see here I have got the washers and nuts on the bottom of all of these as well. So that's super secure, nice and tight together and um, yeah, pretty straightforward you know it's taken me 20 minutes to knock that into um, the same sort of kit that you can buy direct from a wholesaler and these range in price i think from sort of 750 quidish plus vat up to 15 1600 quid plus vat depending on the layout you have inside this was just over 400 quid i think with the rcds mcbs um, and everything so a bit of a saving just for putting it together yourself and um yeah only thing to be mindful of with these obviously you've got your 125 amp main switch they are rated to 125 amps so you don't want to be sticking too much load for, through them we've got the two 22 kilowatt charge points going on with this one as you'll see on this video um if you was to go to four then i think that works out about 127 amps so without any um, application of diversity you'd be above the rating of the enclosure so once you've got the the two 22 kilowatt in, you'd need to think about if you were going to use this any further for single phase charge points, for example, um, or potentially ramping down the output of your 22 kilowatt chargers. The other mitigating fact is you will only get three of the Type A RCDs in up here. You can get a double stacked um, extension box, so you could, in theory, stick more of them up there if you wanted, but it is a limiting factor just on these. And to be honest. You know, you don't want too many of them all together on one system anyway, because you're going to start having some wider implications to do with loading on the install in general. Um, and this works pretty well for us. You'll see on the rest of the video how we're going to get this all wired up and connected. And hopefully this helps someone out just with a bit of uh, knowledge of how you can put these bits together. 
and again i'll link in the description to the video what these individual component parts are and for the sake of half an hour you can save a few quid okay so we've got our cables through now you can see and we've gone through an existing hole that had already been mortared cemented up at some stage we'll make good that obviously it's acting as a part compartmentation between these two buildings although it's not the most tightly sealed at the minute we will make an attempt to get that back to the way it was before we started and obviously we're going to take some tray across here down there so we can fasten our cable into it um yeah it's a nice simple one we've got the length of cable coiled up as you can see here going off to our charge point locations like i said we're going to come across this soft dig here out across there and then to the charge points which are going to live in front of that barrier and then we'll have our little guards around them as well but i'll show you all of that when we get to that stage the guys are on with the work inside we'll go up and see them in a sec um just joining in the wire into the db we've got all the containment up in there now so we'll go and have a look at that um obviously in the short term we're just going to pop these cables into here so they're nice and safe and out of the way and then we can get on with the groundwork next week i guess um pretty good one i'll go and show you what we've got up to inside so we can see Nathan's getting the cable idents on now. We're just going through the CPCs, the neutrals. You see we've got them up each side of the Proteus board. Uh, I'll show you the containment that we've popped up with the cabling in a sec when we finish. We are missing a few bits, as is always the case with supplier issues at the minute. Um, turns out we don't need these as CCBs, and I'll speak about that why later on in the install, but we're gonna pop an SPD and some metering up here anyway. So we still needed this enclosure. Um, yeah, we'll just let Nathan get this dressed away now. He's going to get these circuits all wired up and into position and then we'll run through where we've got to for today. So uh, Matthew's just finished working, whatever that is. He just about stands up in here. Um, we've got our board wired now. You see Nathan's done that. We're just going to make all the IDs in the right place, make sure we're happy with those. So we've got a couple of fixings for the um, cables in the back there. Should we wish to use them, we'll just pop the neutrals and the CPCs in there for now. Same on this side, neutral and CPCs, the um, L1, L2, L3s are loose to the bottom. We don't have enough MCBs for the borders yet. Um, we'll explain more about that in the next video. We're missing a few little bits from the wholesalers. It's the same old story of getting hold of stock at the minute. They didn't have enough elbows for our tray. We didn't have um, another T to come off to into the bottom of this board. So we're going to rejig all of this. This is just temporary for now. So you can see we have got... Uh, shut that door. You can see we've got a bit of a uh, tray up the side there where we're going to bring our supply cable in that's going to pop out of this trunk in drop onto the tray and then around and into the bottom of this board got plenty of room to get that in there as i said we're going to change the top piece on this tray when we come back and we've got another elbow to fit onto the end there to take it through into the outside cupboard and otherwise we're ready for that this little bit here as i said we don't need the type a our ccbs up front of these charge points they have 100 milliamp and 300 milliamp built into the charge point itself but we are going to put a metering kit in and also a surge protector as well which can live up there and we'll show you that on the next video okay so that's where we're up to for the minute nathan's just wired this away it's not finished not by a long shot we haven't got the brass uh, sorry the piranha nuts they were missing off the wholesalers delivery because they were struggling on stock um, so we need to get those on. We've just popped the nuts on for now to hold the cabling in place. We're also missing another T that we're putting on the top of here to dress these cables more nicely into the board. So that's not finished, but we've got them on for now. It's enabled us to get the, the lengths right and we're all ready to get the containment finished off. Again, we've got our little drop down this side where we can bring our supply cable in and then loop around into here. I'm taking this as far as we can for today. We're going to be back on site on Tuesday. Um, where we're going to do the external groundworks. We're hoping to have the other bits we need in place to get this tidied up and done correctly and also some more MCBs that we're missing as well. So it's just been a little bit of an issue getting stock to site. Everyone's facing at the minute because we've got the same issue with the charge points themselves. It's just one of those things and um, yeah you work with what you've got sometimes. It hasn't helped that obviously I've not been at work as much as I would have liked. And this is a project I've been designing, so it's not on the guys I've put the wrong material um, schedule up and left it too late with the order. See what's happened. Nathan's wired this up. So this is a, a kid who's seven, eight months into his time and he's got it all labelled up. So he's got his idents on the cables. We've got all of the cables nicely dressed away. So we've used a couple of little holders in the back, but they've only got the neutral and earths on the L1, L2, L3 are loose. So you can take them out nice and easily for testing. Plenty of length on them as well after they've looped so you can see he's tied them in the back and then left a long loop on the front 
to get into the terminals and then anyone coming along to test this afterwards can have a good chance of being able to do that, identify what everything is, and have plenty of cable to work with, so that's what we like. And yeah, we're back. As I said on Tuesday, we're gonna show this coming further. We'll have the other bits, we'll get it all back together. Um, how it should be, you can see it as it moves along. We're gonna do this with a lot of our installs. Those of you who've watched the, uh, the electrode testing video, there's more of that to come as well. Um, this is just an exciting little project and we're gonna open this up for apprentices to come in and work alongside us through the summer on stuff just like this. So if you're not already, click subscribe, click the like button or dislike, whatever your taste and get involved in the comments. Anything you two wanna add? Nope. No, typical. Anything you wanna add, Nathan? Not really. No, you enjoyed it? Yeah. Yeah, something a bit different today. It's a nice sunny one. We'll get this straight up onto YouTube as quick as we can. And so we're going to come back to this in a few days' time to take it a little bit further with the groundworks outside. We'll show that on a video as well. And then when we come to commission it with the charge points and we've got our other bits of tray and everything, we just thought I'd get a video out nice and quick because I'm back at work for the first time in ages. We will see you on the next one.